I'm Alicia, your prop money millionaire, cash stuffing, budgeting teacher, single mom of three. It's time again to these hands. These hands and bands. Hands and bands. That is me. Hands and bands wants you to see the spending of the money. <laughs> I don't really want you to see, but I'm going to let you. Okay, okay, artichokes. All right. We are doing our weekly check-in to show you what I've spent for the week of the 3rd through the 9th. Um, I've already calculated everything. I go through and I've shown you, I believe it was last Thursday's video, um, but I went through and showed you how I um, reconcile each day. I would literally go through and put these stickers in and look at my receipts and just add up what I spent for the day. And then at the end of the week, which I'm doing now, I show you what I've spent. And then I go through and pull the money from these different accounts and pay off my credit card weekly. So that week I spent $1,052. Let's see what I was up to, shall we? So any day that I have nothing purchased or only business expenses purchased, I count that as a no spend for me. So let's add, let's use, okay, we'll use these. I should have made some birthday ones, huh? This is my Sam, my Sam Jackson Larry, Samuel L. Jackson, <laughs> get it, Elsa Larry. Combos. And this sticker paper, it's not too bad. I think the setting I had it on was what messed it up for me. That's okay. We'll use them. I don't like to waste. So on the third, basically, was a no spend. I only bought one um, business purchase. And then on the sixth, we had a no spend. Ew. These are difficult to release. Okay. All right, let's see what we did. So on that Sunday, just an eight or $9 Amazon purchase for some business supplies. Monday, I did a few grocery runs with some home like um, soaps and things from Walmart and Safeway. Um, ended up being, looks like, 35 a little over $200 um, another $44 grocery run on Tuesday and then some business purchases from Michael I need some more vinyl for $14 nothing on Wednesday Thursday was Thursday and Saturday with some big spend days the whole weekend really so Thursday we did $22 at um, five below for family stuff another five at home at five below for home purchases eight dollars for me from five below Gina hates when you say five and below <laughs> Summer fun family purchases, $33. Home goods, I got groceries. I think it was like popcorn snacks and things like that. So $8.50 and then gassed up for $78. On Friday, I bought another font. One of my fonts on Cricut Design Space disappeared. Okay, for all of you who are like pros at this, because I'm not, when that happens, is it just, it's just it's gone? Because I was able to find it on Etsy. Like someone had that same font because I had someone order vinyl and they wanted that font. And I was like, okay, so I'm going to my thing. I'm getting ready to build their their project and I'm like wait where's that font because I have a listing of all the fonts I offer and the names of them in design space and it wasn't popping up so yeah that is that how that works it just sometimes disappears but I bought it from someone on Etsy for four bucks so not a big deal but still just curious um, another grocery run um, $97 total and then Carl had to get groomed and tip and all that so $116 Carl my dog 40 bucks out of my HSA for a medical item, and then Saturday, the big family spend day. And we went to TJ Maxx, Five Below, Ross, and Marshalls. And I got some business items. I bought some clothing, school clothes. I got, oh, I'll insert a picture of this giant um, dream catcher I purchased. It's like a knitted looking thing. I'll show you a picture. I love it so much. So I did half home, half my birthday out of that, um, for that, to pay for that. Um, we purchased some more we had to buy those flavored sugar-free syrups um, love those things and we add them to lemonades um, to teas it's just our thing to ginger ale whatever right we're mixologists over here um, and then I got one of my daughters at Barbie she saw she wanted and so I pulled out a gift money I had to send someone a gift card for their birthday and then more Amazon and TJ Maxx business purchases um, so grand total again, 1,052, and that'll just show you all that I spent there. So that's how I do that. But I also have been going through my week after I've done my purchases, um, and I pull out 
excess money to help build my buffer for my bills and for my next summer's bills. So, for example, after the week is done, I reconciled. I've you know I've stuffed for the fall, for the current week. I go through um, just a few categories. I go through groceries, home need, gas. I think that's it. Just I think I've just been doing those three. So groceries, home need, and gas, and my personal sometimes too. And I just pull a few dollars from each one to start building a bills buffer. Again, this is for anything I go over. As far as like, you know, sometimes your electric bill is a little higher than you expected. So far, mine has been lower than I had planned for my summer bill, so that's good. But I still want to help build just a base as a cushion for like throughout the year. And then whatever is extra will go towards my summer bills for next year. So let's see what we got. Groceries has 367. So let's pull 20 out of here. That's kind of a lot for me for groceries to have. So we will, um, let's call it buffer. Minus 20, so then I have 347 here. Ear, right? Ear. I'll grab my bank. <laughs> the bank. So we need to get change for the 50. 20, 40, 50. Ow! Sort quick, come quick and help. It's a fingertip moistener. It's hygienic and long lasting. It helps me get a better grip on my money. Real or otherwise. <laughs> Thank you, Christina at The Supernatural Life. If you don't know, check her out. She's amazing and fun. And she is in love with The Supernatural um, show. So check it out. Okay. So now I think we're good. So we should still have the three, what do we say? I'm oh, sorry, 367, one, two, three, 20. 40, 50, 65, 70, yeah, and we're taking out 20. So I'll take that 20. Now we're at 347, 1, 2, 3, 20, 30, 45, 7. Okay. And then I want to pull some out of home need. We've got 63. I'm going to put three out of here. There's not a lot in here, so we'll just pull this extra three to make it even 60. And the little bits add up, guys. If you can only pull a dollar, <clears throat> excuse me, pull it. Do what you can. So let's put 60 bucks in there. If you're like, oh my gosh, I don't have extra you know, streams of revenue or whatever. Um, as you know, I do the Etsy. Uh, I get a YouTube paycheck when they feel like paying me because it's not a lot. Um, but you know, Gina said something very important the other day because we we're talking about Etsy. I mean, yeah, we we're talking about YouTube pay. And, you know, she's like, Yes, I'm grateful for whatever I can get out of the YouTube, you know, Google AdSense money for people watching your ads and things. Um, but she made a very, very valid point, at least for me as well, when she said, but I, I've gotten, I'm not talking to you, dog. She said, I've gotten so much more out of YouTube that the pay they give me will never reach that, which is the friendships, the bonds, the support, the love. Like, the community is amazing. And I don't just mean throughout the budgeters. Like, People who don't have channels are sometimes, and often more times, um, more supportive and just there because um, we're all immersed in one another. And I have people who DM me, who send me emails. Um, we chit chat all the time and you may not even know I talk to these people and that's okay. But those friendships and those bonds, I agree, are worth way more than a YouTube check. So, But I still want money. I still want my money, I'm just saying. Like, I gotta appreciate it too. So what I'm saying is, okay, if you are someone who is at home and you don't have a YouTube channel, you don't have an Etsy shop, um, and all you know, maybe you you so, and not everyone has time to do extra um, side jobs, right? But if you can, you can do things like the um, fetch rewards. You can do things like Rakuten. Is that what it's called? I think it's called that. Um, Mr. Rebates, whatever those little items you can to kind of save those up. You can use your um, cashback credit card and start saving that money. Whatever you can do to save a little bit. Maybe what you need to do is you need to track all your expenses and start seeing what you can cut back. I'm not saying cut out, but cut back on. Um, so little things might help. I'm not saying you have to go out and get a second full-time job to have a little extra, but every little dollar does count and it does help. Um, I started off doing side hustles like wrapping my vehicle and getting paid for that. Um, I did that a couple of times and that was interesting and it was easy because I just drove my regular stuff and I got paid. Um, you can do things like, um, 
I had a side job where I was doing like extra side teacher. I was reviewing lesson plans. I know everything isn't necessarily available to every person, but if you just kind of look out there, sometimes there's things you can do that don't take that much effort um, and they add up quick. So it's my spiel, right? So don't think that you have to have like some thousands of streams of income or revenue to like start building a, a solid foundation. All right. Um, and then gas. Let's have 172. We're gonna get another 20 out of here, I think. Um, let's actually take 22. And that'll leave us with 150. Twenty forty sixty eighty one twenty forty five fifty. All right, so then go to the bills buffer, and we're adding in twenty forty. Sorry, that'll be forty five once I get it all straightened out. Okay, twenty forty two forty four forty five. So plus forty five. Let's not pretend that I know how to add to 21. I haven't even been doing this, well, about a month. I've been doing this a month, and I already have $221 saved. Um, let's make sure that's right. So I'm pulling out little bits here and there. 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 185, 95, 200, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 221. It's not a lot. It's not going to, you know, cover much in terms of me having to pay three months of bills, but it's going to add up over time. I can get 200 a month oh my gosh and I'm not saying I'm gonna be able to do that same amount you know throughout the year or we get to closer to Christmas or whatever can come up um, but it's nice to have that starting to grow all right guys that is basically it if you didn't catch it please go back and check my Monday video um, I know you lying that you didn't already watch it but if you didn't go check it out because I have a giveaway I have another freebie um, so a lot of stuff is happening my birthday is on Monday the 18th don't forget about me, okay? It's been real, people. I enjoy talking with you. Have a great day. Bye. I like sharing my life with you.